Hey, Bill Regan here with Moorings and Leopard Brokerage. Uh, today I'm aboard a 2018 Lagoon 450 Sport. That means it doesn't have the fly bridge up top. It does have the helm behind me there. Uh, easy access to the cockpit. Uh, really nice boat. Four cabin uh, layout on this one, which I think is a really good design for cruising. Um, yeah, nicely outfitted this particular model named Sunnyside sitting here in Fort Lauderdale uh, and for sale as of January 2023. I'll have a link to the listing down in the description below. Uh, but if you're interested in a catamaran like this, if you have any questions about any kind of boats, please feel free to reach out. Contact details are below as well. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks. Here we are aboard this Lagoon 450 Sport. Starting at the aft of the boat. Nice comfortable cockpit. A little lounge area over here on the starboard side. Of course you got your steps going down, swim ladder. Engine access here through the deck. Yanmar diesel power. It's the uh, older style Lagoon Davit system. They do give you an electric winch here to help hoist your dinghy up. The newer Lagoons bring the coach roof back further and uh, metal bars kind of like Leopard does. Yeah, you got an ice maker. Here in the cockpit, just a couple steps up to the helm station. Nice, comfortable, molded fiberglass helm. Solar panels back there, and you can take these further steps up here to the little lounge area up top here. Sliding window here. So you've got good visibility from the helm here to your starboard bow. Looking up at the mast. And then, quick duck, you can see your port quarter. And back around your starboard quarter. You're often backing these catamarans into slips anyway, so that's always important that you can see behind you. Uh, for your line handling, you actually come up on this little step here out of the cockpit. You've got two parking electric winches here. All lines are led aft power here and then uh, yeah you can see your main going up all the way to the top see the gen walk forward so pretty easy to sail short-handed and this particular boat is a four cabin version at first coming in here to the salon and galley I like this galley arrangement with the uh, wrap around prep area next to the sink. Recessed sinks, you just wipe all your things into there. Of course, three burner propane stove, little oven. It's nice how they kind of put um, the fridge, freezer and everything into the cabinetry. Decent seating there around the salon. I mean, this becomes your living room too. Um, probably eat most meals outside for most of the type of cruising that people are thinking about doing. Uh, you got two forward opening hatches there, so if you're at anchor, you should get pretty good airflow through here. A couple fans located around, small opening hatch over there as well. Nav station up forward here. Nice view out to the bow.
down in the port hull aft. Double berth, easy step up to get into it. Each uh, stateroom has its own in-suite head. Separate shower, so that's nice. Nice appointments. This particular boat has a water maker installed. Just the controls are over here. Going forward. There I am. up across and the starboard side should be a mirror image of the board. We'll go forward first this time. Of course hanging lockers throughout. More storage. Lots of nice light. It really is a very pretty boat down here. I really do think this four cabin arrangement makes a lot of sense if you're cruising. Turn one of these cabins into more of a utility room. Easily run a washer and dryer uh, into there with the end suite head. And you've got plenty of room left over for visitors or little ones if you're cruising as a family. Aft. Going forward along the port hull. Nice wide side decks. Trampoline area. Forward cockpit. Um, no shade over this one. I mean, you could rig something up easy enough. But uh, if you like to get sun, it's a good spot for it. But it would be a good spot for. Uh, evening meals or happy hour. Windless right there, exposed, easy to get at. And Lagoon brings their anchors forward instead of dropping them down back here through the hulls. And of course your bridle up there. Lazy bag. Put a lot more solar up here or put a uh, an arch off the back, easy enough. 